better. What role are you here in? Which hat are you wearing? Here How many hats do I have? You tell me. Oh, really, just the one. I'm, I'm here in the, the public policy role. I'm, I've been here for the last two and a half years with this eater. Uh, Jerry asked me to arrange one of the standard satellites, which I chaired, which was a lot of fun. I think we made a fair bit of progress on the, the various different bits and pieces that the industry has to get together. Um, what, what have you picked out of, of the sessions that you've been to so far? Are you seeing any any change in atmosphere, any change in the legislative environment, for instance? It's, it's difficult to judge the legislative environment uh, on that basis because yeah. there aren't any legislators here. We've got fairly clear um, legislation that's come through from the European Union. We don't know whether or not that's, that's going to be overturned by the European Court of Justice, but mm. fundamentally, we just take away what, what we know about the directive and what really matters is that we know how they are made, yes. what, go, what goes into them and what comes out of them. It's fairly basic principles that, that we as industry need to adhere to. It's a little bit more complicated than that in terms of how you set up a system in order to make that happen. Yes. But I mean, from the industry side here and over the last few weeks and months, I've certainly seen more movement towards that and uh, the public debate is as polarised as it ever was. Um, Did, have you noticed, I mean I've picked up that, that from the, the, the keynote from the, uh, the Michael Russell oration, Derek Yak, uh, <laughs> who was very, very pointed towards this whole idea that if we wait too long for evidence people will die, that it's about time that you know various different organisations just took the bull by the horns and went with ESIGs altogether. Is that being reflected in other sessions that you've been to? Um, I dispute that there isn't sufficient evidence to make that judgment based on it. There, there really is sufficient evidence. Well, quite. We, that's what he was saying, that there is loads of evidence, but there, there, there are organisations that are waiting for more evidence. As in the, the you, you can wait one. for evidence until the cows come home. Yes. It's, it's pointless. And what matters is that the evidence we have is very clear that you know, if they're 5% as bad as tobacco, then I'd be surprised. I think we're looking at one to two percent if you want to quantify it in that yes. kind of a way. Yes. We have that evidence. Well, what more evidence do we really need? And that's come through in you know, a lot of the debate that the public health professionals are having here. It's not about, is this a good idea? It's about how do we implement this good idea? Yes. And that, that's really encouraging. And that's somewhat different from last year. Last year, it was quite, is this a good idea? Now, the, the impression I'm getting from what the sessions I've attended is, yes, it is a good idea. How do we get it out there really quickly? And if, if you're picking the same sort of thing up, that's mm. great. Yeah, that 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 really is the, the that that's what I'm hearing. That that's what I'm hearing here. That's what I'm hearing in the discussions that I'm, I'm having in you know, the public policy work that I'm doing for a seat in various different places. So we're actually making headway. It, we are, we are making some quite some quite serious headway. There are still doubters. There was a horrible survey that the European Commission put out a, a week or so ago. I don't know if you saw it, the, yeah, Euro, the, 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 the Eurobarometer, and they did one of those, those infographics. And, yes. uh, oh, look, look, the kids are using it. Um, <laughs> now, uh, no real discussion of why and in what context people of legal age, and we are talking about people of legal age, Yes. were, were using a reduced risk product that we know from all the survey data that we have over all sorts of different member states and all sorts of different countries around the world and it's taken in all sorts of different ways, be it self-selecting, uh, be it snapshot in time, any, all of, any and all of this data points to the inescapable conclusion that what these products are doing is replacing you know, what is a fairly dangerous product in, in incandescent tobacco. Yes. And for the European Commission, two years later, to come out and say, we think that there's a gateway effect against all the evidence. It is a little bit galling. Just a touch. Just a touch. Thanks for your time, Craig. No worries. Thank you. Cheers.